Hi, we're David and Michelle Potter from Sycamore Tree Theatre. This is the first of what we hope to be a regular series of Sycamore Tree segments that will allow you to get to know us a little better and to showcase different aspects of our company. Behind the scenes stuff, interviews, short performance pieces, etc. As the founders of Catalyst Theatre Company, we've been privileged to produce one act and full length plays and musicals for over 20 years with inspiring stories and original musicals for the whole family. Maybe you've seen The Christmas Express, where Hilda, the manager of a train station, can't seem to get in the Christmas spirit until an out-of-town visitor arrives who helps her see things in a different light. Or maybe you've seen Katie's Hope, a look back at people who traveled from Ireland in the 1840s to come to America. This musical is filled with the music and dance of that time and place, and a people who were willing to face great hardship and extreme conditions to find opportunity and a new life. You may have seen A Light in the Attic, which showed a small furniture company during the turn of the 20th century, wrestling with remaining viable while still taking care of its employees. Well, that story sounds rather familiar, doesn't it? All done with a flair presenting relatable characters with fun music and dance numbers. Or maybe you came to see I'll Be Home for Christmas with its radio plays, music, and entertainment, showing ordinary people facing the prospect of war against the U.S. in the, in the 1940s. It was touching to talk to audience members afterwards, especially those who had lived during that time, and to hear how this show had impacted them. All of these represent what we have tried to build over the years, a company that produces quality theatrical entertainment with stories of faith, hope, and love that also builds an artistic community that provides opportunities for people to grow in their creativity and theatrical skills. In 2019, we changed our name from Catalyst Theater Company to Sycamore Tree Theater to reflect the beginning of a new season in our history as an independent nonprofit theater company. It was hard to let the Catalyst name go. But this new name is also very meaningful to us. Well, for example, sycamore trees are hardy, have strong, deep roots, are firmly planted, and are not easily blown down. They are often planted in urban areas because of their ability to tolerate pollution and provide shade. In the Bible, a sycamore tree provided the means for Zacchaeus to see Jesus clearly. The sycamore tree has become a symbol of protection, strength, and hope due to a story involving George Washington and his soldiers in the Revolutionary War, in which a large sycamore tree shielded and protected the troops. This symbolism was reinforced when a sycamore tree, though being felled by one of the collapsing World Trade Towers, shielded St. Paul's Chapel, the oldest church in the region, from falling debris. So as you can see, the sycamore tree is rich in symbolism, and many of those symbols represent who we are and strive to be. As an independent nonprofit theater company, we are donor supported and volunteer driven. We come from all walks of life, but have many decades of experience in theater. We have deep roots in our community and aren't easily moved from what we believe is important. Most of all, we provide hope through the stories that we tell. You have a lot of options when it comes to entertainment in our region, especially when you consider the choices available online. So, what makes us unique? Three things. First, we enjoy a reputation of presenting positive and hopeful messages through mm -hmm. family-friendly productions. Between scripts we write and those we source from elsewhere, what we produce deals with real-life issues in honest but appropriate ways, revealing interesting stories, engaging plots, and characters relatable to all ages. Parents can feel confident that they can bring their children to a safe production. And the bottom line is that if we don't believe a story will make a difference in the lives of the audience, we reject it. Second, our shows are available in the communities where people are raising their families. For many in the suburbs, driving into the city is a non-starter due to the traffic, parking availability, and safety concerns. Related to that, for many families, going to the theater is an expensive proposition. A typical ticket price for live theater is $25 to $30, even up to $70, $80, or even $100 for an adult. 
That puts the price of a theater outing for a family of four at $100 or even more. To make the theater experience financially accessible, we provide this entertainment at prices families can afford. One way we are able to do this is that we produce original content, including scripts, music, and full orchestration. Imagine going to a theater production with a 20-piece orchestra under $20 a person. Our hope is the same family of four can see one of our shows for under $70 and maybe less. Finally, we involve people with theatrical skills from all over the region to volunteer in a wholesome environment where they can grow and make an impact. We include training in our programs to help people grow in their skills and have been excited to see some of those who have participated with us go on to pursue college level theater and careers in stage, film, media, and even filmmaking. We have been working on a new musical for almost four years. Tom and Denise Diffie, who you may know as the writers of Katie's Hope and A Light in the Attic, have written a wonderful new musical called Unto the Hills about a community and family in crisis in the Great Smoky Mountains of Tennessee in 1926. The music was composed and orchestrated by Steve Richards, who orchestrated the music for Katie's Hope, and composed and orchestrated the music for Light in the Attic. We've produced a promo video for Under the Hills, which we'd like to share with you now. Going home, going home, I'm a going home. I'm just going home. You don't happen to know what's all going on around here, do you, mister? Well, that's a sad story, stranger. Of him. He's your son. I don't have a son anymore. Ma! Get out of my sight, boy! My pa's a coward. He didn't want me or my mom. I hate it. Howdy, Miss Russell. Miss Callie. What a nice young man. Don't you think so, Callie? Hmm? You can see the promo you just watched by going to our website at www.sycamoretreetheater.org. And you can also find it on Facebook and YouTube. In order to offer Under the Hills and other productions like it at an affordable price, we need people who believe in what we are doing to help us with donations to support this musical and the ongoing work of Sycamore Tree Theater. We submitted our application for a 501c3 to the IRS in March of this year and expect to receive our tax exemption status by the end of the summer. Any donations given since March will be tax deductible once we receive that exemption. You may donate to Sycamore Tree Theater by going to our website at www.sycamoretreetheater.org and clicking on the Donate button. Well, that's all for today. We'd love to hear from you either in the comments or by email at info at sycamoretreetheater.org. Send us feedback or questions and we'll try to get back to you or even answer them on a future segment. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more from Sycamore Tree Segments. <laughs>